Yeah, ramp ramp has actually been on retool basically from the very beginning. So we don't have a lot of uh, prior workflows that to to show how bad things could have been because uh, we yeah from from the very moment I joined uh, on my first day actually just gave me a retool login and said uh, here this this will be useful you'll figure it out <laughs> so I've I've personally uh, built built a lot of retool dashboards and. Uh, really really happy to be here to show them to you the first one i'll show you is uh slightly different from the other ones uh part of the main line of product development so it's technically is an internal tool but it's used more like the way figma is used uh, as, as a way of coordinating among product engineering and design in order to figure out how to build something the right way and the the thing where we were trying to build in this case uh, which we've since launched is our vendor management tool this this kind of gives you some ability to see into the future uh, because ramp can understand that you have recurring expenses and look look ahead so if, if you're a company it's pretty valuable already just to see all of your expenses in one place, all of the vendors that you're paying. And then it's what's even better is this, this ability to know who owns it, what's going on, and when the next payment is going to be. So that this is what we, we had in mind sort of as, a, as an abstract idea, but how to turn it into reality, right? And that's where Retool comes in. This, this dashboard here, uh, I actually built this myself. It's sort of a prototype of that, right? So you're able to select a customer in the top top table. Uh, and then whichever customer you select, their merchants will show up in the second table, as well as uh, all of the things that will eventually end up in that table you just saw. All of these things, including the, the alerts, these little red red and yellow dots telling you about how urgent this merchant is. Uh, and what, what's really valuable about this, it, it, looks, it looks dead simple, and it was dead simple to build. It, it took me uh, 15 minutes to build this, but it, it provided, it's been so valuable as in the course of building it. It's valuable for engineering, because when we, because of this third table, actually. So when when we say uh, here here we have a uh, something that we said was monthly, right? We can actually go and check whether it was monthly or not. And if if we get we if we got the answer wrong, we can try to debug what went wrong with our prediction heuristics. The yeah that that level of visibility. The alternative, I suppose, would have been to uh, to just write that same query every time. <laughs> uh, but it's it's so much easier to visualize like this and so much easier to and so much faster uh, to respond to feedback from product and design about, oh, like we shouldn't be categorizing this as monthly. This is actually uh, rolling or, or something like that. But the other major benefit for product and design is when they're thinking about how to turn this into this, it's important for them to see the data. Uh, it's one of those things that... Uh, you can imagine what companies spend ought to look like, or you can see real company spend. And so the, the fact that they were able to know what sort of things, what sort of data was gonna be flowing into the tables they were designing really gave them a lot of insight into how to design the table better. This was a very quick dashboard. It's no longer really used now that we've shipped the product, but it's, it's I think, a, a really interesting example of how Retool can be used for prototyping. Uh, things and helping helping product engineering and design collaborate on a new feature. <laughs>